What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, Dr. here, man, back with another video, and today we are starting our second Undisputed Career Mode using Iron Mike Tyson, the most brutal, the most vicious, the most ruthless champion there's ever been in the heavyweight division, so he claims. But with that being said, man, you guys can see right here, we have a wonderful Iron Mike Tyson calf right here. Now, this was not created by me. I'm definitely not taking credit for this. This was created by Ali in the Undisputed Discord. The fantastic job on this Mike Tyson calf, if you ask me. I know it took him some time. I had to take some time to get this together. This looks great. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I will be using this calf for all the videos, of course. All the stuff should be loaded in here, but except we need to go ahead and change the punch set and the stats, I believe. Oh uh, yeah. So punch set, I'm going with Floyd Patterson's punch set. Obviously Floyd Patterson's the only other peekaboo style boxer uh, in the game currently. And he has a unique punch set. That's not the peekaboo punch set. So that's why I'm putting on Iron Mike Tyson. And then we're also going to be using uh, the traditional block, of course, because cross guard and Philly Shell make no sense for Mike Tyson. So, you know, Philly Shell, I mean, uh, the traditional block it is. Now, here's going to be the important thing. Fighting style is obviously the swarmer. That's not really too important. I mean, that pretty much goes without saying. Uh, but the stat assignment is where it's going to get interesting. So, we are on undisputed difficulty yet again. So, this is going to be tougher than our last... <laughs> Uh, career mode where we're actually gonna be on the inside a lot of the times during this career mode you know trying to do some damage on the inside going with more of an inside fighter build so it's gonna be much tougher than you know fighting on the outside behind the jab uh especially in this game the way that these some of these uh, cpus fight so i'm thinking first thing i need to max uh, i'm liking the max out of punch speed and agility uh why i like punch speed and agility is for those diagonal uh, dodges and also the speed on the to get on the inside be able to actually punch without being sluggish so i'm thinking about maxing those two out out the gate and i'm thinking the health stats need to actually be pretty uh juiced out the gate so i'm thinking we max things like body health and head health out uh outright same thing with chin resistance and body resistance and already seeing this is not going to <laughs> this is not going to work but we're gonna have to make something shake so maybe we'll go 55 on both of these since these are important um i think i actually would leave 50. Uh, okay what's the difference with what's resistance do exactly this is very important for us starting out this reduces damage taken so i think we max this out and then we lower the health this will be overall health Bring it up to 50. Uh, all right, punch speed is at max. That's why I like agility is at max because you want to be able to move, get those counter shots off on the inside. Uh, oh boy, power. Uh, definitely want to juice his power. Um, and juice up his power, his hooks. Yeah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> This is not going to work how we want it to work, man. Uh, I'm juicing out his power right away. Also going to juice up his hooks and his uppercuts. But I need to also juice his power punching. So you see, in a way, this is not going to work. Um, okay, uh, this is just not going to work. Uh, all right, man. Yeah, this, this is going to be tough. Huh? This is going to be tough. I have to sacrifice a lot of things early on. They make you sacrifice so much early. So much you sacrifice early. I think this is what we're going to rock with though. Max power in both hands that we can do from the start. Um, basically very good on the speed. Uh, if we get knocked down though, we're, we're cooked. If we get knocked down, we're cooked. That's the, that's the saddest part. Ideally, I want the courage to be higher and block health to be higher. Courage is really a big one. I low-key might boost the courage. I low-key might. I'm trying to think what I, oh, I can drop. Okay, I forgot I can drop stats. Okay. Hold on. So we're going to drop things like the jab. Drop that to 40. Drop the cross to 40. Uh, counter punching. Kind of want it up, but we could drop counter punching to 40. Uh, we want our accuracy to be a little higher. 50 accuracy. I'm trying to think, what can we really sacrifice? You know what I mean? Mm, I'm trying to think, what can we really sacrifice? There really isn't much. We really can't sacrifice much. 
Okay, here's one thing. We could drop the power punching, right? Now, hear me out. Yes, he's a power puncher, but we're not going to be going for a lot of power hooks out the gate. Not early. So we're not gonna, the power modifier hooks are terrible, so we're not going to be using a lot of power punches early. I'm thinking we could drop that to like 45, right? All right. You with me so far? And then we can bring up our courage, max out our courage, because it's going to be very important in us being able to get up if we get dropped. We want to max the courage. Stam, I'm not too concerned with. I can navigate on low, uh, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say I can navigate on low stam, but I'm thinking the moment our stam drops to a certain percentage, we're going to get rocked, so. Uh, impact of punches on stam. I'm going to recover in between rounds. Regeneration during. Okay, we might want regeneration. Not too worried about overall stam, but regeneration I'm kind of worried about. So I'll bring up regeneration. And I think that's what we'll rock with. Uh, I don't really want to touch, drop any of these because I feel like we need that. Um, Loki could drop the jab even more, honestly. I actually know 40 is the lowest we could drop it to. Uh, okay, I think this is good. I want to move up. Actually, let's drop agility to 50. So we can bring up movement speed and then we'll actually make movement speed higher than agility All right and then we can drop yeah none of these really we kind of need all these to be good i think that's what we rock with man that's what we're gonna rock with so obviously but see it makes it look weird that our strength is only 49 but that's because they include the punches within the strength category uh but because yeah i mean we have max power that's what's important the power and then we don't have power punching but that's this is specific to the power modifier right so if we don't use the power modifier then this doesn't really matter this matters more so that's why i drop i mean i really could drop that to 40 honestly honestly once you start picking up traits that depend on the power punching then we'll start bringing that up but in the beginning we're not going to worry about that too much uh, and then that five that we got back there, we can put on to agility and then we'll rock with that right there. All right, man. I think that's, that's it. That's what we want, man. So let's go ahead and apply this. Uh, and we should be good. Now there is a bug, I think with the creator, like if you come back to your equipment after you set your punch set, you can no longer get like the good punch set. So we can't adjust this after we, uh, leave here. Uh, we can't change the gear up or we're going to lose our punch set. So we're going to be rocking the black, the funeral Tysons. Uh, and we're good to go, man. Let's get it. Save and exit. Bang. All right, man. Here we go. The beginning of a new fresh career with Iron Mike Tyson. All right, go ahead and uh, get our team going here. So now we know a little bit more about career and how we want to navigate. Uh, we want somebody with good traits for the inside, like body worker. I'm already seeing try where I'm going here. Uh, yeah. So coach Janet Bridger is probably where I'm going. Let me just check his traits. Yeah, so we're definitely going with uh, Janet. Uh, and right away, we got our first amateur tournament, of course. We will be running in the tournament. Uh, let's see. We'll, we're fighting Emiliano Morales. Let's go ahead and get it, man. We got this, y'all. Hey, now don't worry. We got this, man. Gonna be a little bit different style than what we're used to. We don't really fight on the inside too much, but we're gonna make it work, man. All right, here we go, man. Y'all see him, Emiliano Morales. It's an ugly dude, game. Here we go, man. All right, so we are Iron Mike Tyson. Boy, them, that hook came out slow. I'm scared now. Okay, I'm kind of scared. That hook came out slow. Wait a second. Oh boy, all right. We're gonna be, this is a tall dude. Golly, wait a second. The tall brother. All right. We got body worker though. Let's try to hit the body. Yeah, you can tell. Hook is definitely slow. Uh-huh. We're gonna get real up. We're gonna be real close. Be able to do something here. Now, good thing about having max power on our hooks is once we're on the inside, we're gonna do work. Now, that's the thing. The backstop cross is gonna be our biggest enemy. There we go. We got max power though, so we might be a little bit slower than I'd like to be right now. Hey, hey, hey. So we're a little bit slower than I like to be right now, just because the hooks aren't the fastest, because they're only like things like 55 hook or something like that. The hooks are going to be a bit slower than uh, I'm used to in the beginning, but it's not going to be too big of a, a thing for us. Oh my goodness. God. 
I'm not too worried because we maxed out the power, so hopefully that carries us early on. Uh, I think one of the first things we're going to look at though is definitely the heavy bag training for our, for our fights to really get them hooks up and the uppercuts as well uh, early on. Let's set the uppercut speed uh, off the lane. That's something that if you guys don't know about. If you lean to one side or the other, you get a faster uppercut than you would just regularly. And he just wants to get knocked out. So we'll go ahead and do that for him. Spread him. All right. There we go, man. So first and second knockdown. Feeling good so far. Uh, this guy was pretty slow though, so it's really gonna play a part when we get to the faster dudes and the outboxers. It's gonna be a tougher matchup, but this guy is just, is, you know, it's, it's food. This amateur tournament, we're not on the pros yet, but he's food. He's cooked. Oh my god, he got back up? Are we serious? Oh my goodness, we're gonna put him down again. Hopefully he's still rocks. Okay, he's not rocks, but we could try rock him. So if you slip to one side or another, or like weave to one side, you actually get a faster uppercut animation. Like you see this one, how slow that is? If you slip to one side, I keep saying slip. If you weave to, oh my God, my stem, I'm tweaking. If you weave to the right side and throw the right uppercut, it's slightly faster than if you're just throwing a neutral one. So we're gonna have to use that uh, on the inside because hooks aren't gonna be able to do everything for us on the inside. Use our evasion, yep. A little bit of evasion. Hey, hey. Yeah, pick him back up off the ground. I want more. Pick him back up. All right, so that's a good start. It's a good start. I'm a little bit worried about being in the pocket with, you know, the stats that aren't too good. But hopefully, that's why I max out the power. We're going to have to just rely on that. Just like Mike Tyson, rely on that power. And then slowly, we'll build up our speed and our athleticism as well. So we'll be able to move a bit better. And hopefully, get some better uh, uh, speed on the hooks. But he's cooked right now. Love to see it. First one down. Now, give me that second match. All right, fight number two versus Elon Williams. Let's get it, man. I like that kit. That fight kit kind of clean. Kind of clean. Got a little bit of Lakers. Lakers joint. All right, all right, all right. So that's a big dude too. Golly. That's a big dude. Wait, what division did I put him in? Hopefully this is heavyweight, right? I, I, <laughs> I'm literally just remembering that. I hope I chose heavyweight. I'm pretty sure I did though. I'm just remembering that. All right, there we go. Uh-huh. Oh. Our big advantage speed-wise, oh, I got my stand recovered. Our big advantage uh, speed-wise is going to be the directional hooks. Will give us a little bit of extra speed on our hooks, so we can use that to our advantage. Especially the one. Okay, never mind, because that one was slow. Maybe the rear. Okay, never mind that. Hey, I capped. I capped. But we'll work through this. So don't use the directional coming forward when you're this close. Gotcha. Roger that. What we will do is attack this body though. We will hit this body. Hey, I'll get him off, get him off me. Directional slip. Oh, I wanted that so bad. I gotta be careful with my stem, it's very bad. Get uppercut hook. Dang, there it is. To the body, you gonna keep his hands up? Go to the body. You gonna keep his hands up? Go to the body, Mike. You gonna keep his hands up, Mike? Go to the body. It's that simple. It's that simple. I definitely think they need to raise the starting base from the 50s to the 60s, though, in my opinion. The base is too low overall. They should start the base at 60 rather than 50, in my humble estimation. So that way your base stats are a little bit better. Like having stats like in the 40s and 45s is terrible right now. It's terrible. Uh, I mean, I'm working through it. I mean, obviously we're not having an issue with it right now, but I can tell for most players it's probably going to be an issue. Hey. Duck, duck. Oh, almost had the counter. I'm glad he's not too active though. All right, I gotta find the best way to land that hook. Uh, back step hook looks a little bit faster. Okay, it's an adjustment period, man. It's an adjustment period. It is definitely an adjustment period. Crush that man right away. Crush that man. Yep. Yep, stems low. Navigate a little bit. I'm gonna try him with the uppercut. I'm gonna try him again with the uppercut. I'm trying the uppercut. Mm hmm. That's that 60 power. That's that power. That's that power right now, especially in the amateurs. I had body shots all day, all day long. Especially in the amateurs, that power, if we just land the slightest hit. Gonna, it's gonna do work for us. 
Can we max out power in both hands? So it's gonna hurt if we land. The punches might come slow, but it's gonna hurt if we land. Yeah, they definitely need to raise that up a little bit though, in my opinion. No cap. No pun intended. Oh my goodness. This is another thing I, I'm coming not to like. Sorry not to like, like, they just keep getting up. Like people this low should not just keep getting up after getting clobbered. You feel me? Like it should be some variance. Like do they get up with a big shot? Were they wide? You know what I mean? Like there's none of that. It's Fight Night-esque right now. They just get up. And you know they're getting up multiple times. Let me try to hit that little sneaky counter right there. Grab me. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Put something together, Mike. Hold on. Put something together, Mike. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hold on, Mike. Put something together, gang. Hold on. This might not be too bad after all. Hold on. Wait a second. But I definitely want to. We got to focus like heavily early on. Heavy on speed. Heavy on speed. Because I know when we fight those outboxer speed demons, it's going to be a nightmare. So we have to go early on heavy on speed. I don't care about nothing else but speed and power heavy early on. Yeah, he's cooked. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, give him one more on the ground, Mike. Hey, we that type of fighter. Dirty fighter. Oh, that's three knockdowns? Was that three knockdowns or am I tweaking? Or that two? Oh, I think it was three. We have four total. That was three. Hey, W. On to the next, man. All right, we trying to lock up our final spot. Was that against Michael Moore? Is that the name was? Easter egg? Oh, Daniel Moore. I'm tweaked. Oh my God, it's a big brother. Oh boy. This is a big brother. Okay. He probably, he, he probably wants to bang in the pocket. We'll give him what he wants. Oh, he got a little bit of evasion too. So do I. Still use my counter ability if I'm in the pocket, baby. I'm getting cracked. Hold on. I tried it. I tried the power hook. That's why I told y'all there's no point in putting power power punching up. You see how bad that hook was? You go good uppercut in the pocket. Got hit. I got hit this dude's body. Oh yeah, actually, but body shots are actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. That's gonna be good when we get the oh ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Come here. Yep. Body. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. The body punches on this punch set are very good. I'm noticing already. They're very good. Definitely the body worker trait is going to do wonders for us. Hopefully early on I can see body worker liver destroyer smoking uh, left hook um, Probably a bomber whatever it gives like the boost on the hooks. We're definitely gonna need This is everything power related power stuff. We need power and body work stuff Inside fighter would be really good, too. Oh He fell for that Ooh, Come here Hmm 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 Mmm, spread him. He already knew the drill. Let's go, man. Let's go. Down goes the big boy. That's a heavy boy, too. That's a big brother with the gladiator joints on. I just kicked him around while he's on the ground. That can't be legal. Can't be legal. Looks like we might be able to sweep our second uh, undisputed tournament. Back to back career modes. 4 0. I need it. I need it. We need it. Let's go, man. So now we are in the finals. We secured our spot in the finals. Now all that's left to do, go ahead and bring it home, man. Let's do it. All right, let's get it. Oh my God, another just giant. Jesus, Sebastian Fendora type build. My God. What's that big dude who was back in the day that Foy Patterson used to fight? I forgot his name, but what, Ingemar Johansson? That type build, bro. I think that's who it was, Ingemar Johansson. I mean, my goodness. Kill this dude's body. We, we, we kill. We gonna take this in his body. It's a big brother. There it is. Oh my good. This, this just. This ain't right, y'all. Oh, he's he's tired already though. 
He's tired. He's tired. Now we're tired. Let's back up. And maybe our speed will be an advantage against some of these bigger dudes because he's he's not the fastest either. Our power should make the difference. Yep, there it is. To his body. Make him drop those big hands. Jesus, this is a monstrosity build. <laughs> this man's a monster. Oh my goodness. The punches look so impactful on replay, don't they? But you just don't feel that when you actually play in. You don't, don't feel that impact like that. My goodness. Just a straight monster build. Pandora Light. You know, oh yeah, on the same shorts I had on boots. Hey, I rock with it. I rock with it. All right, man. Pressure right back on him. Body back up top. Okay. 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 Move our head. We're gonna have to move our head in here. Slip. Slip and rip. Slip and rip. Oh, I tried to step in body joint right there. You gotta be really, you gotta really like space that out and time that properly to be able to hit that. To his body. Work that body. We can't hit him in his head. We're gonna hit him in that body. Still utilizing our movement and trying to get counters off. Got him with the uppercut right there. Oh, he stepped the uppercut. All right, all right. You got it, gang. You got it. No, you don't got it. I got it. Mm, mm. All right, all right. Hey, 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 chill out, gang. Chill out, chill out, chill out. All right, man. This is interesting. This is already an inch. Like, jeez, dog. Look at that build. Okay, hey, there we go. Body. Work the body. How about the power shot to the body? How good is it on Floyd Patterson? Okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't really throw it right now with no stand. All right, get some more stand. Let me go back in, man. Let me go back in. Try to utilize some. Woo! Gotta learn how to drop right after that. So if you let go while you're holding that, you could drop like that. Give you a little bit of evasion. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can tell this dude is more of an outboxer going back up. That's when the punches start flying. Inside, you don't want to throw no punches, really. That's fine. I'll throw them. That's fine. I'll throw them. Ooh, all right. I got to go back to his body. Back to his body. All right, it's going to be hard. See, people like him, it's going to be hard to track. I'm already seeing. Hey. He's slow. Oh, that's, the, that's my accuracy. That's, the, that's not having that accuracy right there that gets you. I keep going to the body. Every punch we land is a good one. Every punch we can land is a good one. Stamina recover. I tried the uppercut. That was a bad idea. All right, this has definitely been a tougher round. To say the least. Hey, hey. All right, that definitely was a tougher round to say the least. You already seen how this is gonna be a more difficult uh, road to victory, man. Well, we can do it, man. We can do it. <sighs> Dang, you lighting me up. Trying to get beat on that timing. Or we need to regain our stamina. I'm gonna have to go to his body some more. We've been doing a good job of blocking. Use lateral movement. Uppercut. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Almost. Body head. Body head again. There we go. You gotta open them up a couple times. Pause. That's what you gotta do, man. I guess these people who just wanna hold high block. Oh my goodness, his legs. Jesus. <laughs> if they just wanna hold high block, you gotta have to hit them in the body enough time and bring them hands down. This is how it works. You're not gonna be able to drop a bunch of people just by spamming punches to the head. Oh my goodness, that looks vicious. Gotta make them drop them hands. Hmm. 
Good shot right there. That's a good shot. Now watch this part right here. Watch his legs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Open up. Now that's sick right there. Hopefully this dude stays down and I'm not enjoying playing this dude, man. I'm not. But I know what we need to hit right away. So that's at least we know that. Oh, come on, gang. I'm trying to have this win. You you messing up the game plan, dog. I think he might have won that last round. It'd be great if we could end him. Okay, that's slow. Can't use that. Noted. Oh my, he would have hit me there. It would have been bad. Body. Or he wants to keep winning from the hooks because I'm going to go to the body. Jesus. Yeah, this might get a. <laughs> this might be tougher than I thought. Oh, this is the last round. I'm tweaking. I thought it was four rounds. Oh, I hope we won this fight. Jesus. Please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hey, I was worried for a second there. I thought I had another round. What was it? Oh, he won every round. Uh, or no, he did win the second round, but we have to, to drop the third. So we really needed that. So yeah, I thought he did win the second one. You can tell it's, it's much harder to land our punches. Our percentages is going down from what we were in the boots career mode. But we're going to work it up. We're going to get right and we're going to be all right, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, man. But we got our first victory in the amateur tournament. So we're all right there, man. We all right. All right. You guys see we got the win. Uh, now we're going to pick up the other members of the team. Now this... Um, I feel like this is really okay. So, okay, so it does actually pay. Wait, they are uh, pretty significant. I think we'll go here with the health recovery and six to the stem recovery with the first coach. I think that's where we're going. Um, I think that's where we're going. Let me see. Actually, chin and body resistance. Ah, uh, okay, they're all fours across there. Swelling. Here you get major injury recovery, 40%. Okay, I think we're actually gonna go with the middle coach or the middle cut now. Then we're gonna go with Tony. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Tony. We'll go with Tony. All right, welcome to Team Tony. Now we need a manager. Now the manager is actually going to be another interesting one. So I don't care about the best initial contract. What I want is max fame and max influence. Uh, so I think middle, uh, I think Mary is where we want to go. It's the most famous, the most influenced. So let's go with Mary. All right. Picked up Mary, got the team going together and we get a gym. We're obviously only going to Turner's, which is fine. Got the team put together. Things are looking good. Won the amateur tournament. Now we just need to prep for our pro debut. All right. So we are officially ready to start our pro career i think i'm gonna save this for the next video i think we're gonna just keep the amateur fights for this uh video right here and then we'll officially start our pro career in the next video i'm gonna try to get these out a little bit faster for you guys maybe two a day if i can spin it if not it'll at least be once a day uh, as it's been for the boost career as well but let's go ahead and wrap it up for this video man i hope you guys enjoyed we are starting a brand new fresh career with iron mike tyson this journey is going to be very different to compared to the boots career mode so it's going to be a lot more struggles, trials, and tribulations, but I think we'll be able to pull out like, some good outcomes here. We'll try to train up right, you know, get our stuff right. And hopefully, we can become undisputed yet again. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Take it easy.